Hi, my name is Spencer Elbach, uh, shop teacher at Farmington High School in Minnesota. And for our do-it-yourself uh, home maintenance repair class, we our assignment for the weekend was to find something either on the house or a vehicle that's broken, do some research, figure out how to fix it and fix it, um, and also record the process, take picture or take pictures or video, whatever you want to do, and then we'll bring it back to the class, create a presentation, make it or you know basically create our own tutorials. Um, following suit, uh, I was gonna I was gonna give an example here. So I found a project to work on, and that's in my pickup, my 07 Silverado new body style 1500 V8, um, pretty uh, LT I guess would be the the package. But uh, it's having cruise control issues. Um, it's it's not the cruise control. It's not that it doesn't work. It seems to be more in the winter. Um, the cruise control doesn't work initially. I'm on the freeway. Maybe about a half hour, I finally keep futzing with it, futzing with it, it finally starts to work. Um, you know, maybe tapping the brake pedal enough times, maybe the truck getting warm enough on the inside finally gets it to go. And once it's going, it works great for the rest of the trip. Um, did a little bit of, you know, the first step we're supposed to do for the assignment is to research the project. Don't just dive into something, um, figure out actually how to fix it. Um, and I found some tutorials, some stuff not, it didn't really, wasn't really as good as what I felt I can make. So hopefully this video actually um, helps other people. Um, but basically what it came down to is people are saying it's a brake pedal um, switch um, sensor. Um, 20 bucks, somewhere around there. There's the number on it. Um, I don't have the actual um, part number, I don't think. But uh, but anyway, yeah, like I said, it should look about like this for the, the new body style Silverado or um, Sierra, whatever you're rocking. Um, and it should be located attached to the brake pedal down here. So. We're gonna go ahead and swap this out and we're gonna test it. We're gonna make sure this actually is the fix for this problem. Let's uh, give it Okay, a welcome to underneath the steering column of my truck. Uh, I'm laying on my back on the floorboard of the driver's side here. Uh, this uh, metal bar you see here is actually the brake pedal. So you can kind of get a frame of where I'm at right now. And I, I found my sensor. Oh, in the parking lot of the GM dealership at the moment, that's where I got the part. Um, but anyway, uh, you can see I got a 10 mil wrench there where I got to bust uh, one bolt loose. Seems pretty straightforward. I'll, I'll show you a quick time lapse of video of me actually taking this thing apart, but I wanted to break this down first. Uh, what you're going to want to do in order to take this uh, mechanism apart after you um, pull the wiring out by compressing on that little tab there on the driver's door side is uh, take off that 10 mil bolt, uh, unscrew that. There's a little bit of, obviously you can see some Loctite there, so it uh, takes a little bit of spinning to do, but it'll come out. Um, and there's actually a tab here, um, this little metal tab. There's a, uh, a small diameter drop um, for just a little spot that this thing uh, locks into the, to lock that pin in place. Um, so you're going to have to do a little bit of wiggle work compressing and then push up on this whole mechanism to uh, get it out so um, that little once you get that tab pulled back you push up and it'll pop out um, I'll show you the video later of how to put it back together and you'll you'll see it there too so you'll see a better idea of how that tab works when it's not attached to everything um, so again take the bolt you now take the wiring loose take that 10 mil bolt out lift up on that tab push up it'll pop out and then this whole thing just kind of wiggles itself apart Once you've uh, put everything back together in the right order, you have to reattach this clip and uh, it can be a bit of an issue, um, but if you look at the clip you can figure out pretty simple how to do it. Um, you can see there's a larger diameter circle and a smaller diameter circle. So what you want to do is you want to push the clip firmly um, onto that through, uh, you know, the actual link for the linkage. And you push it through and it compresses the spring, push that little tab back. And then when you pull this whole thing down, you might need to get a, a needle nose or something or get a screwdriver and then that opening to pull down on this. Once that pulls down far enough, that little snap will lock into place. And then you can go ahead and throw that, uh, that uh, bolt to you know couple this thing together permanently. Uh, once we do that, we should be ready to test this sucker. Okay, we have everything put back together here. We're ready to rock. 
uh, let's just quick review, make sure we know everything's back in place correctly. Um, starting from uh, passenger side to driver's side here, we have the brake pedal. Uh, we have the open end of the um, brake switch, that kind of hook shape. Then we have the linkage that goes to the front of the vehicle. Um, and again, that presses on that sensor there. We have the closed looped end of the brake sensor. Then we have that little tab. Um, and again, you can also see that the brake sensor actually has a little offset there right for the tab. So uh, make sure you get everything lined up right. And then we tighten up that 10 mil uh, screw there. Um, make sure that bolt has, uh, you can see there's actually looks like there's some threads there, like it's not tightened. Um, if you remember at the beginning of the video, that's how it was from the manufacturer. That actually is pretty snug. Um, hook up your wiring. Again, that tab that you compress to remove the wiring is on the driver's side. And that's all we have. So um, if this was the video you were looking for, if this actually helped you out more than what you found, uh, search in the forums. If you could like this video, throw a comment to show my efforts weren't in vain. That would be uh, really awesome. So uh, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks a lot. Uh, go Tigers.